Good afternoon, Central Ohio, and thanks for joining us here for a live edition of our 10 Weather Impact Show. I'm meteorologist Aaron White, and it's been an interesting day as we've seen some very strong winds here across much of the area. Winds gusting up to 40, even over 50 miles per hour here today. Thankfully, things will start to gradually improve as we head into this evening. The winds are going to start to calm down a little bit. They're still going to be pretty strong here as we go through the rest of today, uh, but we are looking at some better conditions as we head into tomorrow. Still a bit breezy. It's going to take some time for this whole system that's causing all this wind to really get out of the region and allow for some better conditions. But once that happens, we're already tracking our next weather maker that will bring about some more changes here as we head towards the last day of 2025 here on Wednesday for New Year's Eve. We are tracking our next round of snow. But for today, we have a 10 weather impact alert here because we are talking about those strong winds that have been gusting up to 50 miles per hour. Even a few places seeing gusts even higher than that, especially the further north you go, closer to this big area of low pressure that's been causing all of this wind and really everything that's been happening across the region here the last uh, couple of days. We had storms last night. We even had some severe thunderstorm warnings that were issued across parts of Ohio. That all cleared out. A cold front came through and that's also kicked up the wind, but it's also knocked our temperatures down by quite a bit. We had a tied a record high yesterday of 68 degrees and now we're down in the 20s. So a big change over 40 degrees drop in temperature from this time yesterday. So yeah, a lot of changing changes happening here and we're also tracking some Flurries, some light snow showers making their way through here this afternoon. Not going to cause many problems in terms of uh, any accumulation. Roads are going to be pretty good. It's going to be more the wind that's going to be the issue, of course, as it's uh, you know going to be kind of hitting you from both sides here as we are tracking uh, just the wind to changing direction a little bit more out of the north and west here as we go through the, this evening. It's been primarily out of the west here today. But we are starting to see that colder air really working its way in here um, from what we had yesterday. Of course, 68 degrees now down into the 20s. Here's a look at our current uh, temperature, 21 degrees. There's that westerly wind at 20 miles per hour, and it's making it feel a lot colder. We've had windshield factors down close to zero. Right now it's around six. So whether it feels like six or whether it feels like zero, it feels really cold here all across central and southern Ohio. Everyone Pretty much seeing temperatures into the 20s, a few places into the upper teens. So we're going to hold on to this cold. It's going to be locked in for really the extended forecast. We will see a bounce up in temperatures back into the 30s for a couple of days, especially looking ahead to the weekend. But right now, the focus is going to be on the cold and the wind here for today. And then we have to talk about that next chance for snow outside of just the few flurries that are passing through here this afternoon. Now, let's talk about those winds. Here's a look at some of the highest wind gusts that have been recorded so far today. These are not current wind gusts. These, this is what happened mostly this morning. We had a 54 mile per hour gust in Mount Vernon. Marion recording a 53 mile per hour gust. And the Columbus Airport, 51 mile per hour wind gusts here earlier today. Still, even this afternoon, we are getting more gusts up over 40 miles per hour. So it's still windy and it's going to stay that way here for at least the next uh, several hours, gradually starting to improve. So we're already seeing that those gusts have come down from near 50 now down to around 40. We got a 40 mile per hour gust in Columbus, 39 mile per hour gust in Lancaster, 41. That's one of the higher highest ones, uh, at least uh, locally here in central Ohio. They're in London with sustained winds anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. So Still windy, still cold, going to see that continue here through tonight. So we have a wind advisory in effect through tonight for those strong winds. But like I said, gradually seeing a decrease in the overall wind speeds here as, as we head into tonight and for tomorrow. But even tomorrow, it still will be fairly breezy, just not as strong as what we have here today. As we go through the uh, radar picture, we've been tracking some flurries and some light snow showers. Doesn't look like a lot happening on the radar picture right now. We've had a lot earlier today that has really cleared out of central Ohio. Still tracking some more snow showers there around Waverly up towards Washington Courthouse. A few flurries into the Columbus Metro uh, just not being picked up on the radar picture right now. So 
We will continue to see that here through this evening into tonight. A few flurries, a couple of snow showers, not going to lead to really any accumulation. Best chance for that is going to be well to our north and east up around uh, Lake Erie where they are seeing a little bit more snow. Zooming things out, you can see right there around the Cleveland, Cleveland Metro. A little bit more snowfall even around Fort Wayne where they're kind of getting that lake effect uh, really kicking into gear. They will see at least the chance for some accumulation around here. Likely not anything until we get to Wednesday, New Year's Eve. We would see our next chance for any sort of accumulation, but it's not going to be a big storm. Amounts are going to be a dusting to an inch at best here as we head into the afternoon and the evening here on Wednesday just in time to close out 2025. As we go through the hour by hour forecast here, we'll eventually show that snow here for Wednesday. Looking at the next several hours, going to keep that chance for a few flurries and snow showers here through this evening. And then by tonight, still a couple flurries uh, still kicking through. Again, not going to amount to anything. And then by tomorrow morning, still locked into the clouds. And when we have this cloud cover around, it could lead to a couple flurries. Nothing significant here as we go through tomorrow. And actually tomorrow we may get some sunshine, so that'll be the, the brighter side to a still cold day with highs only into the upper 20s here for your Tuesday. So not going to get any better for quite some time. We're not going to see any 60s again for really the foreseeable future. It could still happen again if we can get another warm up, but right now not tracking any warm air. Highs are generally going to be in the 20s to 30s here through the seven day forecast. As we get into tomorrow night, watch as more cloud cover starts to build in. There is a chance we could see some light snow showers nearby briefly here for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That all clears out and then we have to watch our next system. This one actually bringing us a better chance for some snow that could lead to some accumulation. As we go here Wednesday, New Year's Eve, 5 p.m seeing this band of light to moderate snow making its way southward from the north and that's going to overspread central and southern Ohio. So here we are by 8 p.m. Snow pretty likely at least some light snow across the area that continues through around 10 p.m. 11 p.m. Still looking at least some light snow across southern Ohio clearing out of the Columbus Metro. So for anyone that has plans for New Year's Eve, just keep in mind if you have to travel at all. You may encounter some uh, some slippery conditions with the roads, at least getting that light dusting to an inch here as we head through the evening. But by midnight, things will start to clear out. So as we kick off 2026, we are looking at some quieter conditions here for New Year's Day, but just going to keep that cold weather here in the forecast. So our forecast for today going to keep that chance for some flurries, a little bit of blowing snow around with those flurries uh, passing through the area. Main story, of course, is just the wind itself. Winds out of the west at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Those are the sustained winds. You factor in those gusts. We've already seen gusts up to 50. Likely for the rest of today, we'll max out gusts around 40, maybe 42 miles per hour here for this afternoon and evening. Gradually starting to, to diminish here as we head into tonight. Meanwhile, as we take a look at our seven day forecast here, we are tracking at least some cold temperatures here for the next couple of days. Highs are only in the 20s, getting up to 32 degrees here for Wednesday. But we have our next 10 weather impact alert here as we head into Wednesday afternoon and evening as we're tracking that band of light snow making its way through the area. So again, if you have any travel plans, if you have any really any plans for New Year's Eve, just keep that in mind. There will be some snow around. It's also going to be quite cold as we see temperatures dropping from a high of 32 on Wednesday down to the teens here as we head into the morning on New Year's Day. So New Year's Day 2026 here going to start off on the colder side with highs only in the 20s, but it does start to get a little better as we head into Friday and for the first weekend of 2026. We do have highs back into the lower 30s and then getting all the way up to about 37 degrees here as we head towards Sunday. But even that still below normal. Our normal high for this time of year is into the upper 30s, so we're close to that by Sunday. But otherwise, we're just going to be locked into these colder temperatures here for at least the uh, really the extended forecast. But again, like I mentioned, our focus right now is going to be on these strong winds here for the rest of today. 
tracking potential for gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Here's for at least the next several hours by tonight and tomorrow. We could still see some gusts up to about 30, maybe 35 miles per hour. So like I said, still a bit windy, just not going to be as strong as we will be have here today. And then we're going to keep tabs on that uh, chance for some light snow here as we look ahead to Wednesday, just in time to wrap up 2025. And that's will also wrap up our 10 weather impact show here for today. Uh, we'll have more updates on the strong winds and also that chance for snow coming up here this evening on 10 TV and on 10 TV plus. So tune in for that. Otherwise, you can also get more news and weather online at 10 TV.com.